Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, this is officially my first video for 42 Gear Street 4. And uh, we got something special for you. So appearing right here is the subject of today's video. The new Beatronics zombie pedal. <laughs> So I've gathered, well, we've gathered unsuspecting YouTubers who haven't experienced the pedal yet, and we will capture their reactions on camera. And I will be in control of everything because I have the pedal right here, and they will be at my mercy. <laughs> the first YouTuber, Lee Fuge. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> that was a smooth, that was a smooth uh, guitar handoff. Spin it around so it's behind your leg. Yes. Okay, so our next vi uh, YouTuber is uh, Colin Scott. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. So I've been doing it for- Oh no, I see what you meant, okay. <laughs> okay, our third victim is Scott from Chernobyl Studios. Hello. Have you had any experience with the Beatronic stuff? Yep, I've got plenty of experience with most of the range, but not this thing. Have you heard it? Little bits and pieces. I've tried to keep myself impartial, so... Okay. I didn't want to come into this expecting, you know, exactly what it is. I wanted to be quite fresh. Okay. But do you have an idea of what it is? A little bit. I've experienced one Beatronics pedal, mm -hmm. which, um... Which... Vespa. The Vespa. Vespa. I almost forgot the name <laughs> of it. Um, which was fuzz with the octave up. An octave fuzz. Right. Which, um, delightful pedal. Really enjoy the aesthetics. Really enjoyed the sounds. Okay. But that's the only... The only one I've tried. And uh, have you heard about the zombie? I've been hearing rumors, whispers, little buzzing, perhaps. I've been hearing <laughs> the buzzing about the zombie. <laughs> but I don't know much about it. I've been told not to look at it, not to read up on it, not to even glance in its direction, uh, because you're going to surprise Well, now you can. Let's it over here. Very pretty petal. It's got good colors. Yes, yes. It's not green and purple. Delightful. <laughs> I have not, so this is the first time. Oh, so it's really? A true reaction. True reaction. True. Have you heard about Beatronics? I've heard of it. Yep. Yeah. I heard a Mr. Pauli play with it, but I don't really and didn't really, you know. The zombie is all at once a filter, a tremolo, a modulator, with some overdrive and fuzz and octave capabilities. We are using a Maybach. My Bach, sorry, mm -hmm. in German. Nice uh, purple oh. over Paisley. Yeah, Spark. absolutely. Yeah. It's my next guitar. Mm. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> so the first preset will be Ditch My Wah by Niall Hornet. Okay, so for this one, I want you to play something funky. Okay. There's the black metal. <laughs> yeah, that's really interesting. So are you yeah. supposed to are you supposed to do that with your foot? And yes, you can do it with your. Well, it's actually better if you do it if the player does it himself. I get it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay, so um, you can ditch your Y. You don't need an expression pedal. Um, you can use the left button to toggle the ramp up and down. I can go deep into the pedal to fine tune the ramp and all that. And then this middle knob right here controls the threshold. Uh, the threshold between the O and the A. Ah. ah. O and A. Ah. <laughs> yes. So if it's too low, then you have that. It's like sub, which can be fun. So maybe for that guitar around here. Personally, I like it lower. That way it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
And then there's a secondary function where you double tap this button right here and you get the reverse envelope. Yes. Ow! That's all my mouth. <laughs> Kids, that is the best way to play a wah. You play it with your mouth. So the second preset is Boiling Honey by, oh, whoa, whoa. get rid of the glare, Billie Eilish. The other thing about this pedal too is you can uh, save presets. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a little cumbersome to get to. It's not an instant preset change, but uh, with this pedal, you, you want to say, save as much sounds as you can. <laughs> to get to the second preset, just turn this toggle. To oh, okay, two. okay. Right, hold the cord. I can try that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, is that like a phaser? It's like a step phaser that has randomized patterns. Nice. There's a part of the pedal that randomizes patterns mm -hmm. and that gives you all the stepping, the extra, the extra stuff. And then you can influence that, you can change the pattern by pressing down the bypass switch and tweaking the parasite knob. So, Ooh. so you it's got a parasite now. Yeah, that's because filthy because of the extra sounds. Ah, are parasites. they're parasites living <laughs> in the brain of the zombie. Exactly, God, exactly. God, it makes sense now. Yeah. So you got uh, you can choose from two steps, three steps, four steps, six steps. Play that same thing again. <laughs> Patterns are random, uh, but they're all musical. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's what the save function is handy for. Because if, if you find something you like, you save it right away. Is it, and you can get that same pattern over and over. Yes. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be random. Yes. Sure. <laughs> so can it like be BPM matched? Yes, you can sort of tamp tempo it. Although uh, okay. in this mode, well, the mad mode, which is the random mode, the LED follows the pattern. Um, it's hard to pinpoint it to that a makes sense. specific DPN. What so, I mean, but, but try try something like uh, tap it out for me. It's better if you hold it and let the pedals play the second part. That's interesting. Yeah, and so you, then, you really need to um, pick a certain way. Yeah, so I was trying to do like some dotted's in there, and it doesn't. No, no, doesn't. no, no. You you play half of the song and do right. the other half. Get it. And then we can get into uh, more dirtier territory. So Absolutely. that is like clean, right? Yeah, what we just did. Overdrive. It's also kind of wide a little bit. There's uh, yeah, there's par that's part of the random modulation. Okay, okay. Thing. Try it again. Let's. So that is the wingspan. The, that's the, ridiculous. The, uh, the knob in the middle controls a lot of the character of the pedal. We went from like pretty sharp modulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is the, like the chopped up lower, deeper edge. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, oh, uh, another cool thing is if you double step this, try it. And it's on the momentary. Yeah. This button can control your uh, filter ramp, your uh, momentary switch, um, and later on, uh, tap tempo. Yeah, which... Even tap tempo. Yes, which leads us to Barilla Radio by Beetle Castro. Barilla. My uh, uncle thrice removed. Cool. Zombies capable of up to five presets. Mm -hmm. So we've gone through one and then two to get to the... Uh, remaining three, we have to push down on the engage button and yeah. then
click the click the preset switch. Play something that you would play with a tremolo effect. <laughs> Yeah. If you want the tremolo to be more chopped up, yeah, um, you can control that with it's, the big middle knob as well. So right now it's like a sine wave, right? Yep. So you want a square edge. Wow. Again, it's picking up the tempo. How fast I'm playing by picking, or how is it picking up? Oh, to do you can. The... You can tap, this one you can tap tempo. Okay, you okay. can clearly see the. Yeah, well, that's what I was looking BPM. at. So yeah. one two. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's like it's like a violin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. I like yeah. that one. Let's yep. go to the square edge part okay. again. Play that. Play that violin. So now it's like a cello. Yeah. You know, more aggressive. That's cool, dude. That's, that's, so that's the that's the fuzz circuit. That's cool. Yeah, earlier it was the overdrive. That's interesting. That's <laughs> really neat. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't even. Yeah, that's that is a cool preset. Yeah, it's it's good uh, job on that one. It's something that you know the the pedal brings out like a lot of stuff that you don't know you had in you. <laughs> well, I just found that fascinating. This is uh, like an overdrivey kind of thing. Yeah, we can go heavier. So try. Tap tempo does not agree with you. You can hold down the bypass button and tweak the B knob. Okay. Right here. Like with the previous preset, you can also go momentary. Or the, do the do the Tom Morello thing, where we hold a look like a compound bend up high. Ah. Okay, so this is. Moving up by Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah, he never goes down. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I set that up perfectly. Okay, so um, black keys type with white stripes, like big heavy sludgy. Oh right. Um. Uh. Mm, uh oh, I don't know, that thing.
<laughs> Love it. Fun. See, uh, as soon as you turn the pedal on, you know what to do. <laughs> oh, exactly. I'm, like, I'm not sure, but as soon as you hear the sound, it's like, that's it. Yeah. I've got it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this fun. is a lot of fun. This yeah. is probably my favorite sound. Yeah. Most favorite sound. So play uh, like a sludgy riff. Oh, okay. Of course. Of course it would. <laughs> Cool, wait a minute. <laughs> so there's an, oc there's an octave in there. Well, okay, there's a so whole bunch of shit going on there. <laughs> so what's happening is uh, you have your regular guitar signal. Yeah. Now mixed in with a sub octave. Right, I and heard the, that. And the filter only affects the sub octave. Okay. That's why it sounded <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. I mean, because uh, this is standard E. Yeah. And that's... You, that sounds cute. One guitar. <laughs> like, like, a like a monster coming up from the depths, yeah, you know? That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> then you can control and uh, mix the signals the sub octave and the guitar signals with these two knobs right here. So pl play something. I guess it's guitar, right? You can, <laughs> I'm having fun doing much fun with that. <laughs> so you can have either or, or both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last preset. We got Alien Bees by Believer. I'm a believer. Yeah. Okay, same thing as the preset two, the Lush thing. Yeah. But dirtier. Dirty. Yeah, think dirt. Think dirty. Oh, okay. <laughs> dirty and sludgy. You can see you can see the randomness uh, th through this LED light. So it, it's Blinking not away. Yeah, but it's not like a steady tempo. Mm -hmm. it, it blinks according to the pattern, sure. which kind of throws you off. But you know, you just have to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Think lush and dirty. What the fuck? <laughs> So it's it, the same thing, like it's a doubler with the randomizer on the yeah. bottom. Yeah, so it, it's like the uh, the dirty version of the second preset. Okay. So there's a randomizer, there's the octave. The pattern's all random, So, but they're all musical. Yeah. And uh, that's done by pressing down the bypass switch and then tweaking the parasite knob. Okay. And every millimeter is a different pattern. Oh, I haven't given you a taste of the overdrive, so let's see. Let's hear that then. Okay, so this is the off. Clean. Then is the fuzz. And this is all the crazy stuff. Parasites. Play 
some some kind of nonsense. <laughs> What's your overall impression? What do you think of it? I think it's fantastic. I, I particularly like when we're doing those those sludgy ones, those that sub octave that shifts. Yeah. That's really, really lovely. Um, yeah, the tremolo stuff's got a lot of application. Mm -hmm. I would love to mess around with those two sounds more because they're good fun. Yeah. Beatronics, wink, wink. <laughs> 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 That's a fun sound. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun sound. <laughs> it seems like a really in-depth pedal. It seems like it can yeah. do a lot. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it's fascinating. It's almost yeah. You know, like that's a really bad analogy, but it's like it's not the same river because it's different water. Right. Right. So even right. if you say the preset, you're mostly just getting the the, the idea of it. it I mean, just, I had fun. I just yeah. had fun now messing around with the pedal, and I can see why people would be like, "Oh, this is funny." <laughs> I want to use this. Harnessing it in a musical fashion, I think, would be easier. All three of you pulled different stuff out of it. <laughs> That's interesting. You know? And everything is like usable and musical yeah, right totally. away. And and it didn't change your styles. No, no. You know, it, that makes sense. Yeah, you brought it in, into your play, you know? Well, I mean, I think that's the whole point. I mean... Um, yeah, you don't want anybody changing you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but I mean, the thing, the interesting thing is, is like, like Colin can use the pedal, I can use the pedal, and just by the way that we approach music or play, the, the pedal is an asset to us instead of us having to play to the pedal. Right, right, exactly. You know? Yeah, nicely put. Um, yeah. And which is really the main reason why I'm not a fan of wah, because I just don't play that style of music where I need that expression. Right. I need the compressed lows, the super articulated stuff, which are wah, you know, and, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm not a solo guitar player. So I just, I never used it and I didn't care. But um, in this instance where it's randomized and doing unique things and just like, oh, that's okay. That was weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking like, how could I mix it in with something? How could I okay. do this and create a soundscape? Yeah. So um, very cool pedal, very atmospheric sounding. Okay, there you have it. That was a lot of fun having all of these guests uh, experiencing the Beatronics zombie pedal for the very first time. So all their... Yes, sir. Okay. Just have to be upstairs. Okay. Uh, I'm doing an outro. Can you do an outro for me? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Okay. Can I bring my guitar? Perfectos gotta leave. Some sorry, perfecto nights. Um, whatever. I don't know what his viewers call themselves. So, um, apparently, I don't know what this video was about and if it was any good, but since he was in it, I think it was. Oh, what about the zombie? That's a cool pedal. You should get that. I'm sure Perfecto showed it in the most amazing way possible. Now he's going to be in the Sweetwater Sweet Sabotage Challenge with people uh, making pedals sound really horrible. And um, something practice Perfecto makes. Practice pre 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 practice makes Perfecto. Isn't he, did, he says something at the end. I don't know. Animals. Animals at the end. No, that's me. Um... I'm fluff, I'm out. No. Uh, uh, thank, uh, welcome to the end of the video club. No, that's Andy. I don't know. Uh, click on the subscribe and all that stuff and love Perfecto and send him super chats. You know, he needs it. Look at him. He needs to eat. Bye-bye. Um,